I'm going to talk about this morning. God is the greatest counselor. Yes. All right, all right. Oh, yes. He is the greatest interpreter. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And this is why, and before I go further, some may question why is there only a what they call it a few people in this church? Why is it that we don't see a whole packed church? Well, when you have two or three assembled together in my name, the Lord said, I'll be in the midst. It's amazing how people go on who's there and who's not. But uh, the Lord, if you read carefully, the Holy Bible. Yes. Right. He didn't do things in large numbers. Yes. All right. All right. Because the people would say, look what we yes. have done. Yes. 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 Look what we have yes. done. Yes. With the army of Gideon, they only had 300 yes. Yes. out of 32,000. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. Everybody can't take it. No. That's right. There are a lot of women would be here if they could wear pants. All right. All right. If I was teaching right. that you could wear pants and, mm -hmm. and men would wear earrings and et cetera. Yeah. But all we do is go by the Bible. Yeah. 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 Some one person yeah. headed out that I was a dictator. Mm -hmm. I brainwashed people or something like that. <laughs> well, I were the if that's so, if, which is not. Which, I would rather brainwash you with the word, yes. which I can't do anyway. No, I can't brainwash myself. <laughs> All I do is believe what God yes. says. Yes. Right. Preach it and teach it. Yes. But getting back to the numbers, let me tell you, we just as happy. Yes. We just as happy yes. as we yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. If you don't believe it, come over over here and see. Yes. God used uh, 40 people. Yes. Uh, come on. 40. Yes. Right. Not 400 right. or 4,000. Well, to pay off $821,000 right. mortgage yes. without going outside of the church. Right. Right. But through our tithes and offerings, yes. God did that. Yes. With 40 people. Lift him up over here. Yes. In this group of people, yes. prayers have been answered. Yes. Cancer has been healed. Yes. We have done marvelous things that no other congregation, I don't care how long, as long as God is with you. Yes. I, I played football and I ran track and I. I also played basketball. And some men my height, some men my height, five feet, almost nine inches in height, they have a, a size complex. <laughs> they have a, what they call it? A, 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 no, it's another word for it. Short man. A, a short, a what? A little man's complex. <laughs> That's what they call it, because they're not five, six feet tall. Yeah. But let me tell you, I'm just as happy yeah. because right. God has used me down two yes. through the years. Right. 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 That's a sidebar. Sometimes I would average two touchdowns a game. Right. And one, sometimes two touchdowns a game. Right. Catching the ball with one hand, right. running only in 50 yards. Yeah. 
sometime I'd have 75 yards at halftime, 126 at So I don't have a little man's complex. As long as Jesus is with you, you don't have the complexes. And, and pride is kept. Uh, when I was in the military, I, I used to score sometimes 22, 32 points a game. Uh -huh. All right. I don't have a little man's complex. Right. And with Jesus, yes. you don't have a little person's complex. Yes. You don't have a big person's complex. Right. You just glad you have Jesus yes. with you. Yes. Yes. It's amazing how we get off track looking at uh, these commercials and TV and mm -hmm. And we want to look like somebody else that we ain't. Right. I say we ain't. Right. Just be thankful who you are. Yes. Yes. Whatever you put on, be. You ask God, do I look good in this? Yes. I, I go to the man for boy. Go ahead on. <laughs> Yeah. God, God bless you who you are. Yeah. God bless us who we are. Yeah. That said, uh, I'm going to try to hit this number for a minute. Right. We have problems all the time. Yes, we do. But Jesus can work it out. Yes. Yeah. There's no problem, no, no situation that the Lord can't work out. The best thing you can do is be obedient to his word. That problem that I had, I just said, in myself, I can't work nothing out. I mess it up every time. So I just learned some sense a long time ago. Ah, that problem that I had, I just couldn't seem to solve. Tried and I tried, so I just got deep involved. Turned it over to Jesus. I stopped worrying about it. I turned it over to the Lord. He worked it out. Just give it to him. Whatever it is, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That pain that would not move. Praise in the upper room. That burden that I bore. I was wondering how much more. Turned it over to Jesus. I stopped worrying about it. I gave it over to the Lord. He worked it out. Oh, Work it out. That habit that I had, I just couldn't seem to break. I prayed and I prayed. Don't let it be too late. Gave it over to the Lord. I stopped worrying about it. I gave it over to the Lord. He worked it out. Oh, oh, he can work it out. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, do you know it? Just give it to it. He'll oh, work it out. Do you know it? Do you know it? Just try it. Just give it to it. Oh, just give it to it. Just give it to it. I can't do this, Lord. I need your help. Just give it to him. It doesn't matter what time you give it to him. It could be 12 a.m. It could be 2 a.m. It could be 1 p.m. 
Just give it to him. 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 Just Genesis, the 40th chapter, 9 through, got a lot of scripture here, but I'm going to give it to you. Now, this thing going to have to be cut off, whatever this is here. Genesis, the 40th chapter. The chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, 
Behold, a vine was before me, and in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossoms shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to pause there and go back, and I want you to uh, go to you find Genesis, the 40th chapter. Mm -hmm. And what I want to uh, exclaim this morning, to talk about this morning, is verse 40. Uh, uh, chapter 40, verse 8, pardon me. Right. Chapter 40, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 40, verse 8. Yes. And I want us to read that portion uh, together. Amen. Just verse 8. Amen. Amen. Okay. Are we all ready? Yeah. Let us read together. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me then, I pray you. Uh, uh, Genesis, the 41st chapter and the 12th verse says and there was there with us a young man an Hebrew servant to the captain of the guards and we told him and he interpreted to us our dreams to each man according to his dream he did interpret. And it came to pass as he interpreted to us, so it was. Me, he restored unto mine office, and him he hanged. I want to talk about this morning God, the interpreter. God, the interpreter. Co-subject, we need an interpreter. All right. We need an interpreter. It's amazing how when funerals take place, God gets everybody's attention mm -hmm. to interpret why this has happened. Yes. So we find that God gave two dreams. Actually, he, uh, my late pastor preached the message, a dreamer and his dreams, yes. right. referring to Joseph. But I'm not going to talk so much about Joseph, mm -hmm. but God used him. Uh -huh. yes. And Daniel also. Amen. Because God's going to get his message over one way or the other. Yeah. He's going to get his message over through his man. Yeah. That's right. You may be seated. You may not want to listen. But God is going to get his message 
over. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Where you will clearly understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Interpreting <coughs> means to make it plain. Yes. yes. Explain. Make it plain. Yes. Let me just say, Lord, guide my mind, guide my heart, and my spirit. Yes. That those who will be listening will understand. Let me just say that the Lord God has always had an interpreter from the beginning of time to explain about situations. Right. All right. All right. He used Noah for over a hundred year period to interpret to a lost and wicked world mm -hmm. to the sons of God that it was going to become a worldwide flood right. of yes. destruction. Right. Right. It had never rained on the earth. All right. It was just dew and yes. mist. But he preached by faith. Mm -hmm. And he worked by faith. All right, all right. And he explained by faith yes. that it was going to be a worldwide uh, flood of destruction. Uh -huh. All right, yes. Yeah. It was going to flood everything. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the Bible says God saw. Are you listening? Yeah. That the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Yes. And that every imagination, isn't that something? Not just some. You look at the television now, you can see wickedness everywhere. Yes. Look at your, your internet stuff. You can see wickedness everywhere. Yes. But God says, He's the only one can see the imagination, the heart. But he says in that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only, listen, only evil continually. Read Genesis 6 and 5. Mm -hmm. All right. Isn't that something? Yes. When a world is evilly the thoughts, and only God can see the thoughts. Yeah. And the imaginations, what they saw was evil and wicked. Yes. And God was telling them all the time, in, in so many words, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flood this place because it's wicked. I'm gonna. Yeah. And the sign was Noah building the ark. Right. All right. The easy yeah. reader version of Genesis 6 and 5 says the Lord saw that the people on the earth were very evil. Mm -hmm. He saw that they thought uh, only uh, about evil things all the time. Yes. God used the prophet Amos to prophesy and interpret to Israel how God was going to judge them. Mm -hmm. The King James version of Amos 2 and 6 says Thus said the Lord for three transgressions mm -hmm. of Israel and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof mm -hmm. because they sold the righteous for silver mm -hmm. and the poor for a pair of shoes. Right. People think they can buy and sell anything. Yes. Right, right, right. That's true. And they were doing it during Amos' day. The easy reader version says, this is what the Lord says. I will definitely punish Israel for the many crimes they have done. They sold honest people for a little silver. They sold the poor for the price of a pair of sandals. Now you know that's dirty. 
People are selling out people now. Right. For a dollar. Right. Right. They buying because of that money. People will say anything. It was happening in Amos' day. As it is happening in our day. Amos was there to tell them what thus said the Lord. He interpreted the wrong actions was going to happen. The prophet Daniel was, uh, was two kings. He interpreted two kings dreams right, right. during his reign. Yes. For we hear in Daniel chapter 2 that King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. Right. The Bible says that it troubled him. Right. It broke his sleep. Mm -hmm. He couldn't rest. Right. And Daniel, uh, in Daniel, he says, then the king commanded to call the magicians mm -hmm. and the astrologers and the sorcerers yes. and uh, the Chaldeans for to sure the king his dreams. Mm -hmm. So they came and stood before the king. Uh -huh. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream. Are you listening? Yes. Yes. And my spirit was troubled mm -hmm. to know the dream. Mm -hmm. uh, now you have now this Green New Deal, what they're talking about. And, the ice is breaking off and the world don't come. They, they talk about the world coming to an end in so many, many years. And they're looking at the stars and the scientists and all that other. But let me tell you, that's what was happening in Daniel's day. They called for the sorcerers and the magicians and the astrologers. And, 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 and they tried to explain uh, uh, the dream of the king. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. But let me tell you who can explain. You come to the church and we'll let tell you that God is going to destroy this world. This world is not going to come to an end until God rains down fire. And the church will be caught up. Those who are dead shall be caught up first. And the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are living shall be caught up. Nobody's going to destroy this world but God. Nobody destroyed the world the first time but God. Because of sin. That's what's really causing. Isn't that, one, isn't that something? Man want to change everything. He want to change lights. He want to change straws. He want to change forks. He want to change dishes, but he don't want to change his heart. He don't want to change the evilness of his mind to get right with God. Then the Bible says in Daniel, then spake the Chaldeans to the king in Sarek. O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream and we will sure the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, the thing is gone from me. I, I, can't, I can't remember what I dreamed. <laughs> if you will not make known unto me the dream <coughs> with the interpretation right. thereof, you shall be cut in pieces. I'm going to cut you up. Yeah, you don't yeah, tell yeah, me. Yeah. And your houses shall be, I'm going to stomp it to done him. Now he's talking to his great men. Yeah. Right of sorcerers and magicians. How come they can't tell you to get right? How, can, how come they can't tell you how to get right with, with doing the right thing so you can have peace on earth? They can't do it because they're looking at the wrong God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who written the Bible tells us how to get right and have peace. There'll be no peace. Men shall cry for peace. I'm trying to tell you the interpretation of what's going on now. You can readily understand it from the church. From the preach word. Oh yes. Oh. You may disagree with me. But God is the only one can tell you the future. God is the only one can tell you why you are hurting. Why you have problems in your mind. Why you have problems in your body. Oh, yes. 
King Nebuchadnezzar and all the magicians and sorcerers had to get a man of God. Yes. That's right. The yes. Bible says, then Daniel went to his house yes. and made the thing known to Hananiah and Michelle and Azariah, they can known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right. his companions, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret. Then Daniel and his fellow, fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel yeah. in a night vision. Yeah. Yeah. Only God can open up and understand. Oh, yeah. 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 Only God can open up your understanding of why you are dreaming and why you are acting the way you are. God can reveal to you. Yeah. 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 So I wonder why I can't get my bills paid. Why when I get this right uh, as old folks say, when the head is up, the tail is down. And when the tail is down, the head is up. And why is it a topsy turvy? Because you got to check yourself. You may be doing just, you think you're doing all right. And you see yourself as doing all right, but just the little things. Just your thoughts may be hindering what God. Is trying to get over to your blessing. Just right. your thoughts. Yeah. Wake up, son. Sit up, you can Stay awake. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men? <laughs> the astrologers, the yeah. magicians, all right, the all right. soothsayers. Show unto the king, but there is a God There's a God. in right. heaven that revealeth secrets yes. and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar uh -huh. what shall be in the latter days. Yes. Daniel consulted the one who knows all secrets. Right. Yes. Yes. Daniel and his Companions prayed to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And God revealed to him the secrets yeah. of their heart. Yes. There was another king of Babylon uh -huh. who was, he was bodacious. All right. He tried to buck God. Yes. Yeah. Like some people try to bug God. Well, that's back in your day, Grandma. That's back in your day. Well, I interpret it a different way, Rev. Uh, listen, listen. <laughs> All right. Bucking God. Yeah. Some people are very stubborn in their way. You know, we find this stubborn king. He don't try to be, do it uh, his way. And, and try to be bad and throw a party. Yeah. Oh, King Belshazzar gave a big party uh -huh. for 1,000 of his officials. Yeah. The king was drinking wine with them as Belshazzar was drinking his wine. He ordered his servants to bring the gold and silver cups. His uh, grandfather Nebuchadnezzar had taken these cups from the temple in Jerusalem. He, had, he was about to drink from the Lord's uh, anointed cups. King Belshazzar wanted his royal people, his wives and his, and his servant women to drink from those cups that the Lord was using as holiness. So they brought the golden, the gold cups that had been taken from the temple of God in Jerusalem and the king and his officials, his wives and his women servants drank from them right. as they were yes. drinking they gave praise to their idol gods hello, hello. which were only uh, statues made from gold, silver, bronze iron, wood and stone uh -huh. I hear so many now on the on the network now making fun of the church right. they better be careful oh yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 
how you mock the church. That's right. Because God take offense of that. That's right. Suddenly a person's hand <laughs> appeared and began writing on the wall. Yes. See, God got a way to get your attention. Yes. When you trying to buck God, yes. God got a hand of uh, where he can write on the table of your life. Right. Yes. And shake you up so much until you got to pray and ask God. Yes. What's going on? Right, right. Yeah, the fingers, listen, scratch words into the plaster on the wall. Well, it, it, the Bible says something different, but we're going to use, he, he wrote on the wall yes. near the stamp uh, lamp light. And we know the story how the king brought his Sue says they couldn't interpret. They, they thought about a man who they ostracized. Right. It's amazing how uh, when this new generation uh -huh. they uh, they think they got it together, right, right, right. and they put Grandma, the very one that prayed for them, yeah, yeah. and Grandpa who uh, uh, sacrificed so much for them, right. and got them into UC and other yes. universities. Right. And now they got their PhDs and doctorates. Uh -huh. I got mine. Yes. I'm not condemning uh, education. No, no, no. But I'm trying to tell you, when you get your education, be careful yes. how you get the big head. Right. Uh, the old folks used to call it educated fool. Yes. Right. Don't go back home talking about, mama, I don't go to your church anymore. Because they shout too much. Well, yeah. so that was the church that prayed for you to get yeah. where you are. Right. That was the church that sacrificed and uh, uh, your mama and your daddy. Yeah. They sacrificed yeah. money to put clothes on your back. Yeah. They sacrificed uh, money and, and they rent money sometimes to put food on the table. Yeah. They right. sacrificed sometimes. Oh yeah, many times yeah. to put money in your pocket yeah. so that you can have lunch money. Yeah. 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 Don't come back home talking about uh, you old folk. So God will begin to write on the table of your life. Mm -hmm. Like he did by Belshazzar. Oh Lord, he wrote on the, uh, on the wall. And then the soothsayers and the magicians and the astrologers could not interpret what was right because it was from God. Right. Only God's man can tell you when you get seriously in trouble. When you go to the doctor and the doctor says you got incurable cancer. When you go to the doctor and your brain is not working right. Only God can tell you what's happening and how to fix it. God, yeah. He reveals the secret of what man can't do. He got uh, viruses now in situations, but God only has the secret now. He got man's attention now, which is kind of us uh, disease. He got to go to God to. God got a way to write on the table of man's life to look to him. Only answers come through God. Yeah. If he gives the cure, it's going to come from God. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Interpretation. Let me go back up here to uh, Joseph. Where uh, we find in this lesson. Where the butler, the chief butler. And the chief baker. Yes. had been put in prison right. yes. because Pharaoh was upset. Uh -huh. He was angry with both of them. Yes. And a season had passed yes. going back in Joseph's life. Uh -huh. Joseph uh, was the loving son of Jacob. Uh -huh. yes. 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 And his brothers hated him. Right. Because he dreamed a dream. Yeah. That the stars, the 11 stars yes. and the moon and the sun 
were bowing down to him. Yes. And they hated him because they said, you mean to tell me, and he's loved by his father too? Right, right. And you mean to tell me we gonna bow one day to you? Uh-huh. And so he dreamed again and same similarity. Right. They bow yeah. to him. And right. so one day to uh, bring us up to speed yes. on this story, his brothers were out uh, doing something they had no business doing. Uh -huh. yes. So Jacob said, go check on your brothers uh -huh. yes. to see what's going on. It's amazing how parents know their children. Right. And they know just what's in their children. Right. Because they have that feeling when they know they're doing wrong. Right. So Joseph, he trusted Joseph. Uh -huh, because Joseph was different. Right. Right. His father held that in, but he kind of put it, you mean tell me I'm gonna bow to you, but he didn't get angry like his brothers did. Right. Right. Yeah, so you always have some children uh, feeling that uh, one child is uh, favored over right. the other. Right. And sometimes the parent do that. Right. right. But you know God got a way to break that too. Yeah. Yes. 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 He got a way to break that chain too. Yes. Yes. And he's the one who can do that. Yes. Right. And uh, we're going to see how in this story Joseph uh, went to check on his brothers and his brother said, here comes this dreamer. <laughs> Let's kill that. I'm not going to say that in words. Let's kill him. No, no, no. no, no don't kill him. Let's put him in a pit. They put him in a pit. And then the Ishmael, Ishmaelites was coming by. You know, those were the children of Hagar. Uh -huh. right. Ishmael. Yes. Right. Yes. They, they, they brother. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Yeah. So they sold it. Uh -huh. And then they killed an animal right. yeah. and took his coat. Right. And took it back to his father. Uh -huh. yeah. And say, oh Dad, look what happened. Because <laughs> see, let me tell you, the uh -huh. father knew his children. Right. Yeah. right. He knew they was deceitful. Yeah. It runs in the family sometimes. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge, you look at yourself. That one don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> so we find that they lied yeah. to his father <laughs> because they hated his brother. Right. The uh, animal killed him. I see a lot of smiles on your face. Right? <laughs> Thinking about the children, huh? <laughs> so we find now oh, that. Uh, Joseph was sold uh, to Potiphar, yeah. a captain in Pharaoh's army. Right. And uh, he was sold in slavery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Bible says that the Lord was so beautiful about it, uh -huh. was with him. Yeah, yes. that's right. Sometimes God got to take you away from your mama and your dad. Right. Right. Sometimes they got to take you away so he can work with your heart and your mind. Yeah. So that he can fix you up so you won't be thinking like them. Because you already got them in your system. So we find that uh, Joseph was favored by uh, the captain. He put everything in Joseph's hands. Right, right. Except for his wife. Yes. But you got some old silly women ain't doing nothing. Just laying up. <laughs> and she was there every day. She saw Joseph. And she, she was uh, nicking her chops. <laughs> come on, Joseph. Come on. No. Your, master, your, your husband has put everything in my hands in your house. Right. I, I, I control everything yeah. except you. Right. Right. Except you. I, he didn't. No. Yeah. I'm not right. going to do that. Right. How was that look before God? Right. Right. And she kept nagging that man. Mm -hmm. And she kept, and one day he was in the house by himself taking care of his business. Mm -hmm. And he went up 
I can imagine him going behind him, and, and he didn't know he was going to throw that business right in the sun. I'm just, I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> and, and, how can we? Uh -huh, uh -huh. She was there. She grabbed him. Mm -hmm. Come on, lie with me. Come on, come on, let's go to bed. No, woman, get off me. Get off me. And he pulled out of his coat and he ran out the house and she got his coat. <laughs> in her seductive way, yeah. we tell her husband, come on, mm -hmm. and all the servants, look what this Hebrew man, my husband brought this man in here, and look what he's done to me, he tried to seduce me, he tried to rape me, and the husband came home, part of it came home, now he know his wife, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> he really wanted it, I'm just saying my wife. <laughs> look what this man, look what Joseph did. And he got hot. Now, normally, if a man do that, he's going to kill him. <laughs> but he put Joseph in prison. Right. right. Now, let me tell you, when things are not going the way you think, God got a way to, ex in the, just go on with the program. Right. As long as you're fasting and praying. Yeah. As long as you're praying and fasting yes. and you're doing the right thing, just go on with the flow. Mm -hmm. it, it looked terrible. So there's Joseph in prison. Uh -huh. Innocent man. Yes. Innocent man yes. Yes. because of a lie. Right. How many black men have been put in prison oh. because of a lie? Yes. How many black men have been hung yes. because of a lie right. that he was first with a white woman? You can't tell me. Oh, Lord. Yes. 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 My Lord. My Lord. Richard Wright wrote a book, Black Boy. You should yes. read it. Mm -hmm. This is the climax of the February. Yes. It, it shows the differences. Yes. How you can get all caught up yes. in society. Yes. Right. Yes. You think in a lie. You think every black man is, yes. is a rapist. Right, right. right. Oh, Lord. So we find that. Joseph, he must was covered. <laughs> and so, let me just say one thing. I'm in the bloodline of Joseph. All right. Yeah. Ephraim. Yeah, man. I'm in the bloodline of Joseph. Yeah, man. Ephraim was my great great ancestor. Amen. I'm in the bloodline. Mm -hmm. All right. So we find that. Joseph suffered in prison yes. mm -hmm. because of a lie. Yes. But he did not change his demeanor. Right. No, no, no. Because the Bible says, and the Lord was what? With him. With him. Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah. So, bring us up to speed now. God, Lord. God, Lord, Spirit. Tell it, Reverend. Tell it. After being in there, sometimes you got to stay where you are. Some want to change jobs too quick because I'm not getting enough pay. Some want to change jobs. Sometimes that little pay makes God will stretch that further. You got two, three jobs. So we find, we find, we find Joseph. He's right there. And, uh, uh, God got a plan for your life, yes. but you got to go with the flow. Yes. You got to keep yes. praying. You got to keep fasting. You got to stay right there. Yes. So Joseph kept staying. He kept doing good. And the, and the, and the captain uh, over the war, he just put everything in Joseph's hands. And when the chief butler, the chief uh, uh, baker was put in his hands, he put them in Joseph's hands. Yes. So a season passed, the Bible says. And there they are. They're in, they in the prison. And Joseph, they want Joseph come in one day and they he look at you and say, Hey, what's wrong with y'all, man? Yes. What's, what's, what's wrong with y'all? What's, 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 how did you get this depressed attitude? Mm. He said, I can, can imagine sitting on the side of a big at the handles. It, it's ironic how both of them had dreams at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had dreams last night, both of us. Uh -huh. God knows how to fix you up. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> So, he says, so, 
We don't, we don't know what these dreams mean. Mm -hmm. we, we need an interpreter. Yeah. So is that some God's man is right with the prison? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Just as free. Yeah. He was spiritually free. Yeah. But this is Bible, but he was there for a purpose. Right. Yeah. 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 Butler, Chief Butler explains about his dream, how he's dreaming about vine had three uh had three branches and mm -hmm. Grapes came out ripe, and he squeezed the grapes in Pharaoh's cup, and he had Pharaoh's cup in his hand, and he gave the cup to Pharaoh, and and, uh, uh, and then Joseph said, oh, let, 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 let me tell you, mm -hmm. uh, interpretation comes from God. Right, right, yeah. right. That's true. Uh, you, you looking for an interpreter? God. Yes. He pointed to God. If you want to know what's going on in your life, yes. if you want to know why this is happening, yes. like when Rebecca had trouble in her womb with the boys, right. when he saw in Jacob, uh, she wanted to know, she went to God. Right. He's the interpreter yes. of why you're having trouble. Right. He's the interpreter of why you're going through things. Go to God. Right. Amen. Go to say, uh, interpretation comes from God. Tell it, Reverend. Tell it, sir. You're going to be, in three days, you're going to be restored back. Yeah. Uh, pouring the wine in Pharaoh's cup. Uh -huh. So, uh, think of, hey, that sounds good. Uh, hey, let me tell my dream. So, he said, like, yeah. I was, I dream, I had uh, this meat on my bas basket on my head, and birds was picking it, picking the meat out. Yeah, that's all, okay. He said, now, in three days, Pharaoh's gonna hang you. <laughs> and the birds gonna eat your flesh. Uh, yeah. And this what happened. Yeah. It happened like right. Joseph said. Right. Because it's from God. Right. Right. I want to conclude this message. Jesus, our Lord and Savior. All right. God have not left himself. Without an interpreter. All right. The Bible says in Hebrews, yes. he says in sundry times he spoke to us by the prophets. Uh -huh. But now he spoke to us in these last days by his son. Uh -huh. And without a parable. Uh -huh. Do you understand what a parable is? Yes. Something that we can understand. Yes. If Jesus would have come down and explained to us about heaven, we would have no way how to understand. Uh -huh. So he says, I am yeah. the bread of life. Yeah. Yeah. We all know what bread is. Right. Yeah. See, my, uh, Moses didn't give you that bread, and the, uh, your father's in the will of that bread. The, my father gave you the true bread. Uh -huh. Now let me interpret what he means by that. Uh -huh. Since I am the interpreter, uh -huh. Bread means that you can't live without eating. You got to eat the right food. And the right food is the word of God. David said, don't taste and see that the Lord is true. Yeah, when you eat the right food, you grow right. When you eat the right food, you live. You're not talking about dying. When you eat the bread of life, you live forever. I am the good shepherd. Let me interpret that for you. He was a good shepherd. You will always have a home to have to go to. You will always have a place to have food to eat. You will always have good health because he will be your doctor. Yeah. And when you need help with your mind, he's a mind regulator because he's your good shepherd. Do you know it? Have you tried him? And when you get confused, he will guide you because he's your good shepherd. He's a heart regulator. He's a mind. He's a mind regulator. He's a heart fixer. Do you know him? Have you tried him? He's good. He's the living water. I decide he's, 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 
the true vine, but let me go back to the water. Let me tell you, you can live longer without food. You can live longer, yes you can. But you can't live long without water. You can live without soda. You can live without milk. But you need water. Water is the, the uh, nutrients in your body. 90, 85% of, of your uh, uh, liquid in your body is water. Yeah, when you get the Holy Spirit, it's life. Yeah. He is the living water in your life. How do I know? Because he brought me these 70 some years. Through the thing and through the spin. Do you know him? Have you tried it? Now I can interpret that he's a doctor. He's in a sick room. Because I've been sick. I can interpret that he was bread on the table. Because when we didn't have money, he put food on our table. I can attest that he's a covering and he's a protector. Because he gave us a home to live in. He's my strength. What about you? He's my help. What about you? He's my mind regulator. When my mind gets confused. And when my mind don't know what to do, he comes in and straighten out my mind. When my heart is heavy, he brings joy. And you are not there. I'm by myself, but he's there all the time. Do you know him? He's my interpreter. His name is Jesus. He's a rock of ages. He's a lily of the valley. He's a bright and morning star. Do you know him? I'm going to say to you, try Jesus. He's a rock of ages. He's a lily of the valley. Yeah. yeah, he's more precious than gold. Right. Because he is from everlasting to everlasting. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. You have to take pills to regulate your mind. Just think on Jesus. Yes. Says if you keep your mind on Jesus, yes. he'll keep you in perfect peace. Yes. Do you want peace? Oh, yes. Go get the peacemaker. Yes. I'm trying to tell you, going to the club, going to the party, you don't find peace there. You find hell. But come to the church, you'll find Jesus. He's a peace in your life. I want to say as we close this message. That's all right, That's all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word. Thank you. In a Bible-based church. Yes, sir. Yes. Read your Bible. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And just don't sit at home. Get in a Bible-based church. Yes. Get to work for the Lord. Yes. yes. There's an usher board. There's a choir. There's yes. some auxiliary yes. that you can get. All right. Yeah. And our address is 985 53rd Street. Yes. Here in the beautiful city of Oakland, California. Yeah. Yes, sir. Our telephone number, if you need a ride, 510-595-7733. We'll come pick you up. All right. It's not only about fellowship, it's more about your soul. Yes. Yes. Amen. You need a soul revival. Yes. Right. Look right. at some of you there, you just as dead as a donnell. Oh. You don't have the joy of your salvation. Oh. Do you want to be happy? All right. And find Jesus. Yes. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. All right. Until tonight. God bless you. Amen. Until tonight, God be with you. Oh, God.
Yeah. 